His voice is unmistakable, and he led one of the most iconic bands from Britain for years. And now you have a chance to experience One Night of Queen coming to Detroit Music Hall this Friday, presented by Hollywood Casino at Greektown. Take a listen. That looks like an amazing party. And joining us now is the front man of this experience, Gary Mullen, who embodies the spirit and has the voice of Freddie Mercury on stage. His band is called The Works. Good morning to you, Gary. Thank you for being with us. Good, good morning. Thanks for having me on. So first of all, when did you realize that you could sing like Freddie? Because that's no easy task. Um. It's something I've never really sort of figured out. It's always just been, this is my voice and this is how I sing. And it was other people saying, you know, you sound like Freddie or, you know, you should maybe um, be in a Queen tribute band or, or, or go out and sing as Freddie. And, and, and that was it, really. And, the, and when the TV show came along in 2000, Stars in the Rise, um, that changed it and made it a professional career. So people then said, oh, you sound like Freddie, this is great. So, yeah, I've never really sort of held it myself. It's just been what I hear is me singing. Okay, so it's natural. You don't have to struggle for it. I like that. So tell us what One Night of Queen is all about. Well, what we're trying to do with the show is we're trying to create a, a, a moment you'll never see again, which is which is Queen with Freddie, you know, with the, with the lights and the costumes and, and the energy, especially the energy, because Freddie was, you know, such an energetic um, character on stage, you know. It was, it was never a sort of just stand around and sing a song. It was, it was all, you know, sort of 120 percent full energy you know and audience participation and that's one thing that we always try and encourage to the audience you know you can sit and you can clap and you can go home but if you want to you know headbang or play a guitar or, or sing all these songs and then it's, it's it's an interactive show we we encourage the audience to to sort of get in and boogie with us wow it sounds very exciting now you had a chance to meet brian may from queen what was that like and what did he say to you about your performances it was it was like that scene in Wayne's World where they meet Alice Cooper. You know, you kind of go backstage and he was there and it, it was chatting to me and I kind of froze. You know, I, I don't I usually have a problem chatting to people, but that was one time where I actually just was like, uh, and he asked me how <laughs> we'd just been to America for the first time in '08 when when I met him and he asked me how the tour went and all I could say was okay because I couldn't think of anything else to say. But he was he was such a nice guy, and he said to me, he said, before we left, we chatted for about 45 minutes, and before we left, he, he gave me a hug and said, keep up the, the, the great work you're doing, and Freddie would be proud. Okay. And that blew me away. I was just like, my God, he just, he just, he must like us. <laughs> That's amazing. That's an amazing story. And it's great to have, hear him say, keep up the great work. That's huge. Let people know where they can get more information about One Night of Queen performed by you and the works. You can go, shameless plug, you can go to our website, which is www.garymullinandtheworks.com. And we have all the tour dates um, for the, you know, our entire tour. Um, it's a big tour this year, and it's our 20th anniversary year. It's 20 years since the band formed. So uh, we're treating every single night like like, a, like an anniversary party. That's awesome. Best of luck to you on this tour, Gary. Thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for having me on. Again, the show is this Friday night at the Music Hall.